Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I asked people what they wanted to see. More lost ice on Twitter. So, I mean, it's not a fair plebiscite, it's not proportional representation, but it does give me, you know, a small barometer of what people want to see. Uh, and I realize barometer is only meant to measure atmospheric pressure. But the long story short is, uh, this was a great litmus test. I know that's used exclusively to measure, uh, pH, or, uh, whether it's an acid or a base, but, um... No, uh, I asked people what they wanted to see. More variety, preferably, I guess, like, Keeper Runs or the Lilith Darkroom Run that we have to knock out. And honestly, we'll probably be able to get that Lilith Darkroom Run done. Now that it doesn't require Mega Satan on, like, the first or second try, hopefully. But, um, people, by and large, said, hey... I want to see more Lost Runs. Dance for me, clown boy. And I said, all right, you know. Uh, I, I've i had a really good stretch of runs with the Lost. A couple of them have ended in despair, but uh, that's that's better than the norm. Um, this is a dangerous room. It was like old school Lost for a minute here. Um, all we need to do is get the key piece. And people have been giving me some, or key pieces, I guess. But people have been giving me some valuable information that I was not completely aware of. For example, again, don't quote me on this. This is just hearsay that I've seen on Twitter. Did you know that on arcades, apparently blowing up the Three Skull Monty Man and the slot machine gives you a better chance of getting a deal with the Angel? That's fucking wild. I had no idea. Um, just wanted to see if that gave us anything. I mean, I already know it doesn't, but I figured we might as well try. Um, so I got all sorts of tips and tricks up my sleeve for how to hopefully facilitate more deals with the Angel in the future. The other options for us are, of course, Dad's Key or a... Uh, a get out of jail free card. So maybe instead of taking the best space bar item, yeah, we'll take this. We may want to be a little bit more uh, aggressive taking something like, you know, Ace of Spades as our trinket, Deck of Tarot cards as our item, but I mean, it's still a long shot. And remember, you can't reroll into Dad's key with the D4. The the D4 can still be a valuable um, kind of a, a useful item at least. If we find ourselves in a truly panicked situation. But usually what happens is we find ourselves replacing it with a, a slightly more likely to be useful spacebar item relatively early on in the game. So I'm not like uh, too concerned about this right now. If we, if we find ourselves in a position to use it and it works out, great. If we don't, well, that's fine as well. I'm also feeling like really powerful right now, which is weird. You might be saying, well, you just got lost, you know, common cold. That's not worth that much. Lost common cold and little Steven. No big deal. Use Ansus right away just to see where we're going here. Um, and you're right, it's not really that big of a, a push for ourselves here in terms of like DPS, but I just finished that like January 1st daily, literally like 10 minutes ago. And the January 1st daily was one where you didn't have any tiers at all. You exclusively had um, bombs, very, very powerful bombs, but only 99 of them to get you through the entire game, which sounds like a lot, but can get eroded pretty quickly, you know? Um, so I'm feeling real strong right now. This is like the strongest I've felt uh, on an Isaac run all year. Ah ha ha, it's 2016. It's it's New Year's Day. I don't, people, you know, the only time of the year it's awkward to like talk to professional, like people who are adults like me, but actually do adult jobs on like me, um, is when like I, I had to meet with the bank a couple days ago to get year end stuff sorted out. And they were like, hey, I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. Uh, when do you go back to work? And I was like, well, my wife and I work from home, so we've really been working, like, always. Uh, I think maybe we just take Bomber Boy. I think it's really good. But maybe I'm just thinking of that because of the fact that I've been on this bomb uh, run recently. But most of the time, you know, if you meet someone in, like, April and they're like, hey, are you excited for the weekend? I'm like, well, my wife and I work from home. So every day's a weekend or a Monday, depending on your perspective. That might sound smug. I don't mean it to come across as smug. It's just one of those things, you know, they don't train you for that in conversation. When you work in an office, are you excited for the weekend? Yeah, Bob, I'm gonna take the kids up to the camper this weekend. We're gonna go out down to Algonquin. Pretty excited. Get her done, right? Apparently, everybody who works in an office is uh, has huge reverence for Larry the Cable Guy. But, um, and now I'm like, ha <laughs> ha well, you see, here's the thing. Here's uh, way too many intimate details of my life to explain to you, and, uh, uh, and a level of assumed familiarity that we do not have. We have ten bombs. Might as well crack into this and crack into that. We may be missing some tinted rocks, but I don't really care too much about that. Because, again, it has to be small rock to be useful. And remember, we will be skipping our deal with the devil. 
on this floor at least. Oh, why not, I guess? There's probably, well, maybe not probably, but there's potentially a good why naughty reason, by the way, that I'm just completely glossing over here. I thought those bombs maybe would explode into Bomber Boy patterns, but they don't. Kind of thinking that maybe I'll use another Bomber Boy play, but we got, or another Bomber Boy bomb, but we got burned right off the bat, unfortunately, uh, by not being able to hit with our first one, and then he's on this teleport shit, you know? There he goes again. Maybe we should just fight him normally and not uh, present ourselves with another distraction that could be bad for us. Oh, he was like a second away from getting his ass toasted there. There we go. Ass is toasted. Super bandage is meaningless, and we skip our deal with the devil. What comes next? On this floor, we want to go to our shop, and on our shop, we want to, uh... Oh, don't get killed here. On our shop, we want to, um... Donate some money. Thank you. Thank you for that. Wasn't feeling stressed out about this room enough. Uh, you've really helped me out here. That might do it. Sweet pills. No bad trip, please. Health up. Meaningless. Explosive diarrhea. Get out of here. It's Bomber Boy. <laughs> little, little scary. Nothing to do there. Okay. So this run sucks right now. Uh, Bomber Boy is awesome as kind of like a last ditch effort against. Uh, angel statues. So that actually I still feel like has, <clears throat> pardon me, has the potential to be pretty positive for us here. Um, but we would really benefit from picking up some kind of extra damage increase at some point, you know. Obviously we'll go back for that. I was just, uh, I'm feeling the momentum right now. Before we go fight our boss, we should really, really try to donate. Now this one kind of sucks. Um, I bet we can get all six mushrooms? Tears up maybe? Bombs are key. That's fine. We do need to save one bomb for sure for our boss. Uh, well, angel statue, but hopefully we'll be able to get even more. Or hopefully, like, Bomber Boy will cause the angel statue to take more damage from our first bomb. Man, I love Bomber Boy. <laughs> I, I know I've been a little hesitant about whether or not I should be even using it, but I'm like, this is, this is really good. Um, right now, at least. Okay, so there's our shop. That's pretty much perfect timing. Wouldn't mind buying a bomb, actually, but we'll see. We could donate and maybe buy a 7 cent item or, you know, buy a card and it could be a uh, get out of jail free card and then I could start taking deals with the devil or something. There is no, there's a card, but it's not like the right kind of card for sale. And there's also no bomb for sale, so just gonna wedge ourselves back here. Um, I don't think we want to buy a 3 cent card. There's not too much we're hoping for there, so we won't be really buying anything in here, to be honest with you. We got to donate 20 cents. 20 cents does give us a better deal with the angel chance. Then all I ask is don't have me fight the deal with the angel on like a super tiny room. Because Bomber Boy is going to make it so there's like, you know, 2% of the screen is safe. For right now, it's a pretty decent run though. I guess I can show you the seed here. 21BE39RP. At this point, uh, a decent seed is the lost. Guys, I guess, you know, I, I think the Empress card is worth keeping, but um, a decent seat is the lost is pretty much just like, you know, are the rooms so bad that we're going to get hit early? If we're not going to get hit, like, there's 0% chance or close to 0% chance of getting hit twice on any room early, I mean, then it pretty much fits the bill. You know, the criteria has gotten a lot less strict lately. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great opportunity to actually use the Empress card. Anything that allows us to take out Mega Fatty a little faster is going to be uh, positive. And it also, uh, you know, gives us a speed increase as well. Like, I mean, it gives us like a, a mild most stats up, I think. Which means that um, I can actually get out of the way of his attacks like that one right there. Which otherwise might have been a little bit finicky. At this point, it looks like this fight's going to go fine. We should accept that Mega Fatty is probably going to be more difficult than an Angel Statue fight. So if we get an Angel Statue fight here, I like my odds. Please give me some kind of DPS upgrade here. It's all I ask. We're done. We get Magic 8-Ball, which does not do anything for us, but it gives us a Wheel of Fortune card. Uh, and Holy Light is like an acceptable item. Oh, I hit myself! I forgot about Bomber Boy! Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say. Nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. Motherfuckers act like they forgot about Bomber Boy. 
Oh, oh, land some, land some holy light shots. Oh, I, I mean, I could reroll the whole run, but then we lose holy mantle forever, and I think not holy mantle and holy light is kind of like our holy shit transformation. Just relax. You may get hit, but just just relax. That's the important part. You know, no reason to get riled up. Just a video game. It's just a video game. Oh, my keyboard's broken. I'm moving persistently to the left. That That's not good. Why am I moving persistently to the left? I'm not moving persistently to the left any longer. Somehow managed to dodge that. Oh my god, we lived. Okay. Well, that was easy. Um, down to the next floor, I suppose. <laughs> well, we have a key piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of elation there. That's like when you know you, the, the adrenaline hits your system after you like accidentally break a bone or something like that, and you just say, like, I don't know what's so funny. It's just funny. It's not funny. Your body's flooding you with natural sedatives, man. Um, well, not sedatives, I guess. But natural, you know, like pain relievers or something. That was almost a terrible moment, uh, but it ended up working out okay. Now. Uh, Holy Light, by the way, does not carry the entire run, but it is an angel item that actually benefits us in a world where that rarely seems to happen for us on Lost Runs. We also, like, 100% have great chances of getting the key pieces here, which is something that we have not had for a long time either. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Oh, the Cancer Trinket as well. This is really, really good for our DPS. Um... Which is great because our DPS kind of sucks right now. I mean, it pretty much does hinge like 100% on landing holy light shots. And then also, you know, common cold does damage. That, that's pretty much where we're at right now. So we got a lot of work left to do on that front. That angel statue fight would have been so much cleaner if I just hadn't, you know, caused myself to take stupid damage right off the bat. Yes, hello. What's up? Possibly, yeah. Is the grocery store even open today? H Mart is. Oh, I see. Sure, yeah. I, I, I might be like 45 minutes and I gotta take a shower. Okay. Alright, I'm working. Alright, let's continue this run here. Regain focus. Got our key. Could find our angel statue in this room, but I do think that it's probably more likely that we're gonna wait a floor or two. If we can land a holy light shot on an exposed polycephalus, it'll probably take off like half his HP. So that's all we need at this point to guarantee us a win. Polycephalus should be a win guaranteed anyway though, that's not really that much of a concern. Angel statue? I might like to just knock it out, but no, didn't get it. That's fine. Um, we will look for our item room. Shop's not that important. We know we're pretty much guaranteed to get an angel statue. It, well, I mean, we're pretty much guaranteed to get a deal with the angel if we get the qualifications necessary for a deal. Like, if we pass the is deal check, then uh, we will get it. So we don't actually have to donate any more money. Bomb's a little bit low right now. And that's like, I know myself, I know I'm a little absent-minded with respect to, you know... My new details sometimes, and I'm like, well, one bomb I could easily accidentally spend. Looks like we have no choice but to go through the big room. Um, boss rush doesn't worry me in the least right here. In the sense that I, I don't care about doing it so much. You know, we're, we are still a little ahead of schedule, but we're close enough that it doesn't even warrant uh, really talking about it, I feel, to be honest. So I'm going to try to avoid doing so, even though as of right now I'm talking about it. So, you know, me thinks the lady doth protest too much or something, but whatever. Boss rush, uh, sorry, boss trap. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Boss trap, we could do. Not for Black Bean, though. Self-sacrifice gives us nothing. This is probably our last corridor, then. And there we are. We should be good. Eight cents. And shoot the whoop. Yeah, you know what? Having shoot the whoop once every two rooms is probably worth giving up the chance of the D4, you know, re-rolling us into something amazing. It's not a guarantee, but... I'd say it's it's probably worth it. Um, 
We could have, it looked like our secret room was in a pretty obvious location there. But I just want to save our bombs in case, you know, maybe one of them saves us from a horrible situation. And we'll check this out right off the bat. This is good. Okay, a guppy item. I like it. Bombs that are not going to explode in our face. Also good. And a Joker card. Well, ideally we don't have to use this Joker card on this floor. But this does pretty much give us a 100% chance of getting the key piece. Or at least a 100% chance of getting a chance to get the key piece. Which I understand is confusing. But um, basically, it, this gives us a guaranteed you know, entry into the, into the race. That was bad damage, but nothing else is going to hit us here. Just stay far, far away. Nice. I don't like this very much. These enemies are annoying. Thank you, Holy Light. Lots of these enemies can hit from afar, and honestly, the, uh, the bonies are deceptive. Their shot speed is such that they can trip you up pretty easily. That should do it. Okay, we made it through. We got two extra keys, and we do have a, um, a shoot the whoop charge left over. Which I'm not going to use on this room because there's no safe way to take these guys out easily. And there's just one dude. So, yeah. Okay. Easy decision. Might as well get one free play out of it. We were probably fine, but you know, it, was a, it, it was a free play. So, take advantage of that and shoot the whoop work pretty nicely there as well. Come on, just holy light shots, man. I don't know if that's tied to our luck stat, but I'm like, I want a holy light firing at all times. If every single one of our shots was holy light, I might be happy with this run right now. As of right now, I'm happy that we've got good chances, but uh, a little anxious over the fact that, you know, it's really just growth hormones and holy light holding it down right now. Probably like one enemy left in there. Yeah. I will take the pill. Infested is okay. Not blowing up any skulls or anything like that just yet. That's a magician card. Of course, because it's always a magician card. Probably shouldn't use Shoop the Whoop on the boss. Instead, we'll save it, unless the boss is horrible. Which, actually, with Holy Light, it's not. As long as we just land, like, two Holy Light shots on the mask, we got no problems. And then we can use um, Shoop the Whoop on the Angel Statue, which should be tougher... But it'll go a long way towards, uh, you know, making me a little bit more confident if I just don't stupidly, uh, accidentally, uh, hurt myself with Bomber Boy as soon as we blow up the Angel Statue. Plus, we should get another Angel item. It could be Godhead. It could be Sacred Heart. It could be something that's not those two items, but, you know, reasonably meaningful. It could be something that's not reasonably meaningful, but at least does something. Or it could be just complete trash. It could be a trash fire. Flying plus HP, flying plus spectral tears. Incredible choices. Uh, never mind. I guess we're, well, we're still gonna do it, but here we go. It could be two eternal hearts. That's another big one. That's just a huge get for us. I, I pretty much deserve to get hit there. Trying to get too creative with my second bomb. Yes, yes! Yes, holy light! More! More holy light action! Everything must go! You're not gonna believe me, but I looked at the, um, we got the key piece now. I looked at the lights and was like, that means don't dodge to that direction. Like, it's in the cardinal directions. So I feel pretty good about that. Now we got our key pieces. If we could actually facilitate a deal with the angel, that would be beautiful. For now. Well, we it, there's basically three kinds of lost runs we have. Ones where we never had a chance. Ones where we, we have a great ability to deal damage but no key pieces. And ones where we've got key pieces but not much ability to deal damage. At this point, I feel like, sure, let's take Night Light. Might slow some bullets and, and save us out. Save us in a tough situation. Um, we know we're not in one of the first camps. We're not in, you know, great damage, no key piece. And we're not in no chance whatsoever. We're in that third camp, which is key piece but... Sort of don't really know where things are going to shake out here. You know, hopefully it works out for us, but we uh, can't say for certain. Now, next floor is Mom, and we have no orbitals. We have familiars, but no orbitals. So, um, we're we're going to be in, in tight a little bit on the Mom fight. Shoot, we might help out, but I don't know how much. I mean, that's super 
worth opening on a normal run right now, but this isn't a normal run. We have 16 keys, so it seems, you know, desirable, but we may or may not have the opportunity to actually make it worthwhile. Now, if we could become Guppy, I'd feel so much more confident about this, and there was a genuine chance here, but appears to have fallen by the wayside a little bit. Ah, yeah, beautiful holy light shot. And more enemies. Enemies that can teleport are my worst nightmare right now, because they only need to hit us once for things to get a little dicey. And by a little dicey, I mean we would definitely die. We could come back. We do have uh, Guppy's Collar, but... I'd rather not, if possible, put myself in harm's way like that. I gotta say we're getting pretty good results out of Shoop to Whoop right now. Playing our cards right. Would have been nice to have here, but uh, Holy Light will also do the job. That is actually really terrible. Do not lose it on a Polycephalus, champion or otherwise. Look, nobody likes uh, nobody likes the Diglett enemies here. We still should not let ourselves get so rattled that they have a chance to kill us. Wow, the body is like the only lost item that is hot garbage for us. Mind would have been sweet. Uh, soul would have been sweet, maybe even sweeter. And um, the body just does jack shit for us. Not too salty, I mean, life goes on, but... It is unfortunate. No way to teleport out of boss rush, so again, to reiterate, let me explain to you how little I care about boss rush by allowing it to dominate my conversation 100% of the time. Should try to face these guys so the nightlight actually slows them down a little bit. I think I'm thinking if I just fight Mega Satan and face him the entire time, what can he do to stop us? Maybe nothing, right? Well, I don't need bombs. You know, I, I feel like, why would we do more rooms here? We're not going to get anything from our shop with four cents. I feel like we might as well take every available opportunity. Just take out Mom early. Take the Polaroid, which, you know, it doesn't really matter. But I'd rather have the chance to get the extra four items on the chest. Although the chance to get a single, or maybe even two guppy items on the dark room is non-negligible. I think it's negligible enough that... Or it's insignificant enough, at least, that we're not going to care about it so much. Okay, don't die here. It's, it's been a fairly stressful run in the sense that, like, on every single meaningful fight... Oh, that was kind of close. On every single meaningful fight, I've been hit once and had to fight for my life with Holy Mantle active. Or deactivated, I guess. Oh, come on. If that had just been a poison shot, we would have been in the clear. We do get a deal with the Angel. We'll take the Polaroid. Please be good. That is not good! Oh, this is totally now, after this floor where we got nothing of value, shaping up to be one of those runs where we, uh, we get the key pieces but not enough damage. Oh, that's not worth it. I do recognize that Holy Light is a really good pickup. So is Growth Hormones. But we got, you know, Growth Hormones with no spun. Holy Light with almost no other damage. You know, this is a... It's, it may not be that tough to make this one work through Mom's heart. Although we've kind of been barely keeping on here. But um, it's going to be really tough to make it work for Mega Satan. Which is, that's like a two and a half minute long boss fight. I mean, we barely beat the Angel Statues with a run that is pretty much the same as what we've got right now. Cancer Trinket's really good, too. Um, of course. But, um, we gotta beat the Angel Statues and all the mini-bosses that spawn and both phases of Mega Satan. Only getting hit once. Maximum. That's real tough. Oh, there's three of these things, huh? Now we can probably just force the other one and be good to go. Okay. First phase, no problem. We could also, I mean, <laughs> at this point I was like, we could get a get, get out of jail free card. I guess what do I care about a get out of jail free card? Not too much. And it's amazing to think about how many of these doomed lost runs maybe wouldn't be doomed if I could just start by taking deals with the devil, right? Like, oh, that was really dumb. Like, if you start out and you take Gimpy uh, Pentagram, 
Not only does that give you Gimpy and Pentagram, which may not be worth too much, but Gimpy, for that matter, might not be worth too much, but the Pentagram probably would be. Um, you get future deals with the Devil. Much better... That could have easily killed us. Much better chance for Guppy items. Much better chance for high damage items. Our deals with the Angel were the Holy Light, three Spirit Hearts, and an Eternal Heart. Or two Eternal Hearts. So, effectively completely worthless. You know, deals with the Angel on Lost are just typically garbage, or like, weighted towards garbage. Especially because deals with the devil are so good, because even if a deal with the devil sucks, you go, ah, it sucks, but it's free. Worst case scenario gives me nothing. Second worst case scenario gives me precedent, so I never have to worry about not being able to take a, or not being able to get a, a devil deal in the future. I know that they're going to be fairly abundant. Um, but in most scenarios, you're going to get something that's at least decent, and, uh, you know, is also free. Whereas on deals with the angel, you're like, it's free... But I have to fight a, a fairly tough boss for this section of the game. And it does nothing for me. And it took up my deal with the devil slot. But, you know, you only have to do the angel room. Or you only have to do the mega satan fight once. Theoretically. And you don't have to do it this way. I'll, I'll uh, admit that. You don't have to go this route. You could just wait for a... Um, for a get out of jail free card or a dad's key drop or you could even just try to you know play isaac runs get missing poster after you get the key pieces or after you go to the self-sacrifice room or something like that die respawn as the lost with holy mantle i'm actually starting to look at that as kind of an attractive option the reason that i'm not doing it is because it's not principled or anything it's just sort of complicated to be like i'm starting an isaac run my goal is to get missing poster Play the self-sacrifice room, enter the dark room, die, respawn as the lost, and then beat Mega Satan with whatever we had before it. It is plausible. I mean, I know Kate's done it, but uh, not not on Mega Satan, but on, um, you know, greed mode. She did that to beat the lost challenges, which I think is completely fair. At this point, I'm not going to, you know, you know, those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Yeah, I've been trying to do this lost stuff for a freaking week here. It's the freaking week of hell, baby. Got to have me some lost. Mantle popping in your stretch catacombs. We got girdies everywhere as if the party was bones. Doesn't really make any sense. I got muller booms on my left, muller booms on my right. Put them both together, you got frustrating nights. And after the womb, it's the after party. Well, head of the keeper, you know, I don't know if it really does much for us here at all. But it looks cool. There is a non-zero chance that we get a deal with the devil, I think. It's not a good chance. It doesn't have to be a good deal with the devil, by the way. It, or, like, it doesn't have to be a deal with the devil. It could just be a deal with the angel. I would also be completely fine with that. As long as the deal with the angel is actually good. Which it has not been for quite some time. Although Holy Light is probably one of the reasons we're still, you know, kicking it in this game right now. Killed Conquest relatively easily. No deal. Okay. Well, we're not taking that. Shoot the whoop once every two rooms is better than, you know, a shoot the whoop we can't control once every four rooms most of the time. Curse of the Blind. Doesn't matter if we get a deal with the devil. In fact, it doesn't matter if we get a deal with the angel. We're taking whatever we get. I hope it's clear. Like, uh, there have been some posts I've seen like, hey, NL, when did you get so bad at Isaac? I don't really think that I've been bad at Isaac during this stretch. I think, you know, it, it takes a very special run to... To win uh, on Mega Satan, and and we've gotten maybe disproportionately bad luck combined with maybe a couple of misplays. But you know, I, I felt really good about Isaac this week, and you know, I find myself being like, why am I in a slump? Why am I only winning like half the time? Oh right, because you're playing as the Lost, and you know, have this self-imposed condition of not being able to do deals with the Devil, and you know, doesn't take too much going wrong for that run to fail. On the dailies this week, we've been consistently like top one or two percent. So I feel like I'm actually kind of in the zone from an Isaac standpoint right now. And it's, it's more the game that is, that is raking me over the coals a little bit. But we got to, you know, it's up to us to persevere there. The only element I can control in that is myself. Uh, wow, that's actually terrible. This would be a great time for some clutch holy light shots. We just want to avoid the kind of bullet helliness of, of what's going on right here. There we go. One will be dead. Poison and Holy Light, actually a pretty nice combo for getting relatively weak enemies just straight up killed. Nice. 
And if we beat Mom's Heart on this run, I would consider it pretty good. You know, we, we haven't been gifted on a silver platter an easy run. Um, nor has it been exceptionally tough, but I think... Man, I would love it if that were just a guppy item. Is this worth 30 touch? I don't know. Maybe, because like with Holy Mantle, we can walk into enemies to finish off a room and... You know, kill them pretty quickly. We gotta fight three bosses to make it happen, though. And at this point, you gotta be thinking three bosses for an item like this is... Three bosses for Guppy's head would have been one thing. Three bosses for uh, for 30 touch is another one altogether. I didn't even know 30 touch could show up like this. Or at least I, I hadn't internalized that 30 touch could show up like this. Our last boss, though, I think is Chubb. So, you know, Poison will do well. Um... Our slow will do well, and holy light will do well. So it's not like we're fighting, you know, three angel statues in a row or something, but still, there's an inherent risk associated with it. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I would love to play the part of the guy who's really optimistic about this run right now, but I, I can't. Especially now. That was, that was really dangerous. I'm not necessarily, by the way, pessimistic about this run. I'm pretty amazed we live there, but I'm not necessarily pessimistic about the run either. I just think, um, you know, we really need something if we're going to beat Mega Satan. And we don't have something yet. We don't have anything. That was so dumb. I tried to dodge him into my holy light shot. I'm like, let, let Brother Bobby handle it. Or we got Little Steven. Let Little Steven handle it. It's working ever so slowly. Good. I know. I realize we left a penny behind there. Basically, I don't care. Oh, fucking god damn it. Now, I mean, we're getting to the point where, like, even on relatively what should be easy rooms at this stage in the game, we're getting hit once fairly consistently. That scares me, man. That doesn't make me feel great about my chances of, uh, pulling that surprising victory out of this. And I've kind of left myself with no margin of error after dodging into that shot. I'm dead! I didn't even move. Oh, well, again, we gave it the old college try. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. God damn it.